Ah, uh, those are some hands. Does she have three fingers? Three fingers? Those are some strangling hands right there. What is going on, everybody? I am Brandon, aka The Frustrated Gamer, and welcome back to The Road Trip. So this is one of my favorite games that I'm currently playing right now. And we left off on Chapter 3, where I believe we have the fat guy strangler in our car next to us. We just got to our motel or our... Oh no, we just got to our new uh, burger place. Our new burger place, and we got the strangler in our car. She's a little skinny old lady, but apparently she strangles fat guy. So we're in trouble. And this chapter is literally called the fat guy strangler. So we're going to see what happens with this woman. I assume we're going to die multiple times. Sounds like someone's snoring again. Is that uncle? Uncle loves falling asleep in the bathroom. This is like the third time that a chapter has opened up with uncle asleep on the bathroom. Oh, oh man. I don't like any close-ups of anyone in this game, let alone uncle. Uncle is the... There, there are some ugly people in this game, and Uncle... Oh, no, that was me. Oh, that was me. Oh, man, I might be uglier than Uncle. All right, so leave Sal's Burgers and enter your vehicle. I feel like I've been here before. Is this... So, so did we not... Oh, we didn't get our burger. That's right, we never got our burger. Sir, we are closing. Please get out. This seems exactly the same as the way one of our chapters ended. But it said chapter four when I started playing, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little confused. There you are, boy. Need to lay off the tacos. Ha! Now let's get in already. All right, so let's get in our car. Let's start that bad boy up, and let's get on our way. So if you missed chapter three, check it out. I'll probably put a link in the top of your screen, top right, somewhere, somewhere there. Uh, we got to the next Sal's Burgers for our Mr. Rib, and they also had run out. So now I guess we're on to our third one. I don't know where the Strangler is, though. This chapter's called the Fat Guy Strangler, so I assume that we're not finished with her yet. Man, that lady was freaky last night. Something was not right about her. All right, but I'm sure someone will call the police on her. Not our problem. The billboard said she strangles people. Well, she looked like she did in the picture on the billboard, let alone she was not acting. What do you think? Definitely her on the billboard. Not sure. I really do not care. We're going to say definitely her on the billboard. Exactly. What kind of person strangles fat people? Someone... I can't read and drive at the same time. It's it's making me just nauseous. Okay. Well, I don't know. I don't know how the fat lady strangler is going to get back in our lives, but I have a feeling we're going to encounter her again. Maybe she's in our trunk. Maybe she's in the trunk. Jeez, it's so scary out at night. Please don't slow down and let anyone in the vehicle. Yawn. Jeez, I'm getting tired. But do not worry, boy. I will stay awake with you. He's going to be asleep in about five seconds. I guarantee it. He's going to be asleep in five seconds. He's still awake for now. Guarantee we're going to hear snoring. The funny thing about our uncle is he always falls asleep and misses all the terrifying things. Like when we had that hitchhiker in the car. Oh, I'm almost... <laughs> I almost slipped over. When we had the hitchhiker in the car, uh, he fell asleep. He missed it. Now I'm sure we're going to run into the strangler again, and he'll probably fall asleep and miss the entire thing. And then the next day, when we somehow skate out alive, he's going to be like, oh, I slept great. How was your night, boy? And it's going to be like, oh, I just got strangled by a crazy lady who only strangles fat people. And uncle's asleep. Uncle is asleep. He's, sleep he's just a happy man, though. Look at him. Look at him. Wake up, you fat... <laughs> Nighty night night, wake up. Uh, we're just gonna we're gonna be polite and just say wake up. Oh, uh, he's out. He is out like a light. He is a happy, he's a happy sleepy man though. A happy sleepy man indeed. <laughs> Surprise! Please don't turn around and yell or I will strangle you to death. Damn it, she's in the car. She's in the car. Oh, good thing your uncle fell asleep. He seems like the type of guy that... Oh, my gosh. Now focus on driving, will you? I can't be seen around here with all the police looking for me. I knew it. I knew she was going to be in the car. So can I not look around? If I turn around, is she going to kill me? Oh, this music. This music's intense. Oh, I kind of want to look around. I kind of want to turn around just to look, but she said she'll strangle me if I turn around. Oh, I'm going to turn around. Oh, God, she's there. She's there. Nobody has to get hurt. Just drive like you would to the motel and nothing will happen, okay? Go die in a hole. Got it, lady. Whatever you say, grandma. We're going to be polite. We don't want her to strangle me. Just so you know, I'm not a bad person. I really just dislike fat people. Well, that makes you a bad person. They call me the fat guy strangler because I strangled a few fatties. That's all. <laughs> That's all? Trust me. That will blow over soon. I will apologize and everything will go back to normal. Ha, huh, sure it will. Yep, you're absolutely right. Lady, you're insane. We're going to say you're absolutely right. We're keeping it nice. 
Are you just saying that? Of course not. Stop patronizing me and focus on getting to the motel. She's starting to sound a lot like our hitchhiker now with the whole patronizing thing. This is some, like, horror music now. Oh, Looking back. Ah! Ah! Okay, this lady's just terrifying. She's just frightening. How did she get in my car? That's my question. How the hell did she get in our car without us noticing? And of course... Fatty McFackfat, fast asleep in the back or in the side seat. I don't get it. Say nothing. What do you plan on doing after this? You're crazy. I'm gonna ask her what she plans on doing. I'm curious. I'm curious. Well, actually, I plan on escaping the United S oh to the United States, going to hit the road to Texas. My reign of terror will not end here. I can guarantee you that. Wait a second. Speaking of which, you're not going to tell anyone, right? Oh crap. Damn it. Sure will. Say nothing. No, of course not. No, something tells me that you are lying to me. How? What, what, what am I supposed to say? No, I swear. Maybe I am. Maybe not. No, nope, I swear. All right. I believe you. Well, I don't know. This lady just said that she just... She's like, oh, I just strangled a couple fatties. That's all. Everything will go back to normal soon. And now she's like, I want to escape to Texas to continue my reign of terror. I have to say, your uncle has been a horrible company. You guys have been insulting me the whole time. You guys have this coming. I'm not a bad person. Well, wait a second. You strangle fat people. You're completely right. Now, come on. Don't be a suck up. As long as you do what I say, you will be fine. Now, drive faster, boy. Well, now I have a second. She keeps insulting me and my uncle saying that we're bad company. We didn't exactly invite her in our car. So I don't know if she can take that personally. We didn't invite her in our car. We're almost at the motel. I'm really glad I didn't have to strangle you guys. Yeah, me too. She's telling me to buy a gym membership now. Um, yeah, whatever you say. Lady, I'm not gonna exercise and be- Oh, man, I'm gonna say that. Um, yeah, sure, whatever. We're gonna say, yeah, sure, whatever. Yep, you sound very sincere. Glad you're making a change for the better, you fat bastard. What the hell? That's not very nice. Hey! Okay, well, I don't want to run into anything. I kind of want to get strangled by her just to see what happens. I don't know. Should I? Maybe I should. I don't know. I'll make up my mind next time she says something. Although now I'm so far into the chapter that I would have to do all of this over again. Is this Beaver FM right now? This doesn't sound like Beaver FM. I want a Beaver FM update from my, my buddy, the Beave. Doesn't he go by the Beave? Reduce speed ahead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Something's coming up. Take a left. We're finally here. I'm so glad you did... I'm so glad I didn't get arrested. Now, come on. Find someone here and I will... All right. Okay. Somewhere here to park. I'm hoping that this is the motel. Maybe she's just taking me to like a secluded parking lot and uh, and she's going to kill me. I don't know. Oh, it is a motel. Okay. Parking space ahead. I don't want her to kill me. This motel looks exactly like the last one we were in. Well, would, would you look at this? We made it, and I didn't get arrested. And you guys weren't strangled. A win-win. What do you say? Uh, if you say so, I'm calling the police. I'm doing it. I'm calling the police. Oh, we will see about that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, she's strangling me. She's strangling me. Ah! Ah, how do I get out of the car? How do I get out of the car? Uh, this is a weird... This is weird. <laughs> Wait, I wasn't even driving. How did I crash? You are dead. You were horribly strangled to death and got your uncle killed as well. To avoid this, try not talking down to the hitchhiker. Figure out what she likes and what triggers her. Okay. Well, I kind of did that on purpose. We were almost there and I didn't want this episode to be like seven minutes long. All right, I'm getting in my car. I want to look and see. Where is this lady? I don't see her hiding back there. Where the hell is she hiding? But somehow she's in our car somewhere. I don't know. So if I look backwards... Oh, what's that? Oh, is this, is this like her ghost right here? What am I... What is this that I'm circling right here? Ah! Ah! I feel like that's kind of her ghost. Maybe she is a ghost. Oh, I hate it when our uncle talks to us. He like stares right at us. Ugh, hello, uncle. Oh, crap. Uh -uh. I ran into a cornfield. I think I can finally conclude that you can crash this car as much as you want and nothing's gonna happen. Unless you, like, tip over or something. Because I have beat the hell out of this car in every single chapter. And it's still running fine. This jalopy is a ch It is a tank, man. It will run through anything. Alright, well, the lady is back in our car. I love how she talks. 
I love how she talks. It's hilarious. I'm going to say most of the same things before. I like that. I like that. I can't even focus on what she's saying at this point. It's just funny. All right. Well, we already read all this, so I'm going to skip a little bit forward until we get to the point that we decided to get strangled by her last time. We should be coming up to the motel soon. This music is like, it's getting me fired up and nervous at the same time. We're almost at the motel. I'm really glad I didn't have to strangle you guys. Oh boy, okay. All right, well now she's saying I'm not such a bad guy. We already saw all this. This lady, man. Ah, oh, those are some hands. Does she have three fingers? Three fingers? Those are some strangling hands right there. Those are some strangling hands. She's got three fingers on one hand, and then the other one looks kind of normal. All right, I think we're coming up to the motel in a second, because I recognize that kind of backdrop. And I know I passed it last time. This time, I'm trying not to. Let's see. She's going to say we're coming up on your left in a, in a couple seconds. I think that's it. I think I see the sign in the distance. Oh, this music is getting even more intense. All right, I think this is it. I think this is it. Take a left. We're finally here. All right, good. I didn't pass it this time. Now come on and find somewhere to park, will ya? I'm trying, lady. Don't yell at me. Okay. All right, let's get in our parking spot. And now let's try to say the right thing this time. Oh, well, will ya look at it? We made it and I didn't even get arrested. And you guys weren't strangled. Um, let's say, uh... Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I know you didn't just call me ma'am. Are you calling me old? Oh, boy. This is not going well. Yeah, you look pretty old. Of course not. I don't need your pity. You're lucky I'm not going to strangle you. Oh. Now, are you going to honor your commitment? What? Working out and losing weight? Yeah, we're going to say yes. Well, of course. Of course. That's the spirit. Okay, lady, don't kill me. Don't kill me, lady, with those those terrible looking hands. Now, best of luck with you. And remember, I will be watching. Bye. Oh, that was creepy. That was real creepy. Chapter five. Okay, well, that was a pretty quick chapter, but I'm going to end it there. So the name of the game is The Road Trip. I had a good time. Chapter five is called The Highway. So I don't know what to expect out of that. At least we got out of the clutches of the evil fat guy strangler. Uh, but yeah, I had a good time. Like I said, I've really been enjoying this game. I hope you guys are too. If you like the video, smash that like button down low. If you're not part of the TFG squad, the Frustrated Gamer squad, hit that subscribe button. Join the community. We got the best subscribers in the world. And yeah, that's about all the time I have for you guys. I will see all of you guys in chapter five for the highway and have a good one, everybody.